The Princess and the Peacock Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess named Lila who lived in a splendid palace with her father, the king. She had everything she could ever wish for, except one thing, true love. She longed to find a prince who would love her for who she was, not for her wealth and beauty. One day, a handsome prince named Ravi came to visit the palace. He was from a faraway land, where peacocks were revered as sacred birds. He brought a magnificent peacock as a gift for the princess, hoping to win her heart. The peacock had feathers of dazzling blue and green, and a crown of golden jewels on its head. Lila was enchanted by the peacock, and thanked the prince for his generous gift. She invited him to stay at the palace and spend some time with her. Ravi was overjoyed, and agreed to stay for a week. During that week, Lila and Ravi got to know each other better. They went for walks in the gardens, played chess in the library, and danced in the ballroom. They found that they had a lot in common, and enjoyed each other's company. Lila felt a spark of love in her heart, and hoped that Ravi felt the same. However, there was a problem. The peacock that Ravi had given to Lila was not an ordinary peacock. It was actually a fairy prince who had been cursed by a wicked witch. The witch had turned him into a peacock, and told him that he would only regain his human form if he found a princess who would love him more than anything else in the world. The peacock was secretly in love with Lila, and was jealous of Ravi. He decided to sabotage their budding romance, and make Lila fall in love with him instead. He used his magic to make himself appear in Lila's dreams, and whisper sweet words to her. He also used his magic to make Ravi appear rude and arrogant, and say hurtful things to Lila. Lila soon became confused and unhappy. She did not understand why Ravi was acting so differently, and why she was having such strange dreams. She began to doubt her feelings for Ravi, and started to feel drawn to the peacock. She spent more and more time with the peacock, and less and less time with Ravi. Ravi noticed the change in Lila, and was heartbroken. He realized that something was wrong, and suspected that the peacock had something to do with it. He decided to confront the peacock, and find out the truth. He went to the peacock's cage, and demanded to know what he was up to. The peacock laughed, and revealed his true identity and his plan. He told Ravi that he had cast a spell on Lila, and that she would soon forget about him and love him instead. He also told Ravi that he had no chance of breaking the spell, and that he should leave the palace and never come back. Ravi was furious, and challenged the peacock to a duel. He said that he would fight for Lila's love, and that he would not give up on her. The peacock accepted the challenge, and said that he would fight for his freedom, and that he would not let go of her. They agreed to meet at dawn, in the forest, and settle their dispute once and for all. The next morning, Ravi and the peacock met in the forest, and drew their swords. They fought fiercely, and neither of them gave an inch. They were evenly matched, and the duel lasted for hours. Lila, who had heard about the duel, followed them to the forest, and watched them from behind a tree. She was torn between them, and did not know whom to root for. As the sun rose higher in the sky, the peacock began to lose his strength. He was not used to fighting in his peacock form, and his magic was fading. Ravi saw his opportunity, and lunged at the peacock, aiming for his heart. The peacock tried to dodge, but was too slow. Ravi's sword pierced the peacock's chest, and he fell to the ground. Lila gasped, and ran to the peacock's side. She cradled his head in her lap, and cried. She realized that she loved him, and that she had been under his spell. She begged him to forgive her, and to stay with her. The peacock smiled weakly, and said that he loved her too, and that he was sorry for what he had done. He said that he was happy to die in her arms, and that he hoped that she would find happiness with Ravi. He closed his eyes, and breathed his last. As he died, a miracle happened. The peacock's feathers turned into a cloak of silk, and his body turned into a handsome young man. 
He was the fairy prince, and he had broken the witch's curse. He had found a princess who loved him more than anything else in the world, and he had died for her. Lila was stunned, and did not know what to think. She looked at the fairy prince, and then at Ravi, who was standing nearby, with a sad expression on his face. She felt a surge of mixed emotions, and did not know what to do. Ravi broke the silence, and spoke to Lila. He said that he loved her, and that he wanted to marry her. He said that he understood if she loved the fairy prince, and that he would not force her to choose. He said that he would respect her decision, and that he would always be her friend. Lila looked at Ravi, and felt a wave of gratitude and admiration. She realized that he was a true prince, and that he deserved her love. She decided to follow her heart, and choose Ravi. She told him that she loved him, and that she wanted to marry him. She said that she was sorry for what had happened, and that she hoped that he would forgive her. Ravi smiled, and embraced Lila. He said that he forgave her, and that he was happy to have her. He said that they should honor the fairy prince's memory, and that they should live happily ever after. They kissed, and returned to the palace. They announced their engagement, and prepared for their wedding. They invited all the people of the kingdom, and all the creatures of the forest, to celebrate with them. They had a grand ceremony, and a lavish feast. They danced, and laughed, and sang. They were happy, and they were in love. And they lived happily ever after. The End